To protect your files on a Windows 10 PC, you should enable something called Volume Shadow Copy. This will work with something called Restore Previous Versions in Windows 10. Let's say you have a document and you want to go back to a previous version of this document if you change something in it and you overwritten this document. If you right click on it and select Restore Previous Versions, if Volume Shadow Copy is not configured, you will not have the ability to go back to a previous version. To do this, follow the steps that I will show you now. First, make sure that system protection is enabled on your hard drive. To do this, click on Explorer and then go to this PC, right click it and click on Properties. Then click on System Protection. Under Protection Settings, you see that the local drive C, it has a protection enabled, it's on on. If it's not on, click on Configure and then click on Turn on System Protection and then click OK. So now that we made sure that system protection is enabled on the local drive, we need to configure volume shadow copy. To do this, I'm going to be using PowerShell. So on the search bar, type in PowerShell, right click Windows PowerShell and choose run as administrator. I will be programming a task using PowerShell to run and make a shadow copy of Drive C daily. This is a task I'll be using to configure a daily volume shadow copy using Task Scheduler. The task is schedule tasks slash create to create a task slash the schedule runs daily and it runs start at 8 in the morning. The task is called My Backup. It will run under the system authority credentials with the highest credentials. And the task name is called WMIC for Windows Management Instrumentation Command. Shadow copy called create volume C. Now, if you have another drive, then see that you have your Windows installation on. You can change C to the drive that you have, if you have D or F or something like that. So this is a task. As you see, this task will create a scheduled task in my list of tasks that will run daily. Let's hit enter. And we got the message that success, the scheduled task, my backup, has successfully been created. Let's go to schedule tasks now. In the search box, type task. And then go to task scheduler. Under task schedule library, click on it. And you see this is the my backup task created. Let's see the properties of this task. So it will run with the highest privileges as we programmed it. It will be triggered daily at 8 a.m. And the action, it will go and run the shadow copy for volume C. Let's now run the task to create a volume shadow copy. So right click on it and click on run. And you see the status it is running. Let's refresh. And you see the task took seconds to run. Volume shadow copy finished running. Let's now go back to our documents folder. And change the document that I showed you. So this is a document now. It says this is the first version. Let's change the first version to second version. And put it in green. Save the file. 
and let's also go to pictures and delete this picture so I'll be simulating an over write on a file and the deletion of a picture on how to restore them so this is a file that we overwritten you see it says this is the second version if I want to restore a previous version I just right click on it select restore previous versions and then click on restore it will prompt me to overwrite the file in this case I want to overwrite it let's click on restore and let's see the result now of the file as you see the file went back to the previous version now let's see how we can restore the picture that I deleted so under pictures as you see the picture was deleted let's say I emptied the recycle bin also so how to restore this right click on pictures and click on restore previous versions and you see that you have a previous version if we click on open you see that you have the file and the volume shadow copy of April at this stage you can simply drag it back here and we have our file restored that was it for volume shadow copy with restore previous versions I hope you liked this video and found it useful if you did don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you all for watching